Wow. You won't believe what Oscar De La Hoya gets charged with or accused of. Find out in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I set the world of boxing up. On top of me personally being real busy, I was in the boxing gym this week. Got some good footage coming for you guys. And, you know, just putting out my content. This is a story that I seen the day it aired and the day the information was made available. But I didn't have time personally to make a video about it because I was doing so many other various things. So it got to the point where this particular story, I knew I was going to talk about it on the channel, but it couldn't be my priority because I had so many other things that were more pressing. So I, I set the game of boxing up and I said, you know what, let me use this to my advantage. And then I purposely, even though my schedule cleared up, I could have did the, the video about it yesterday or the day before. I purposely decided against that to see if other people in the world of boxing would talk about it. And no surprise here. Leave it to me. It's like, how am I the first person of my subscription stature and my size that is talking about this? So Oscar De La Hoya was accused of actual assault twice in 2020. That's when the incident is alleged to take place. You see it on ESPN ringside. And it says, in addition to the claims of actual, and again, I'm censoring the word for the YouTube algorithm, harassment and battery levied against Oscar De La Hoya. The suit alleges gender discrimination, wrongful termination, and negligent and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The story was first reported by the Los Angeles Times, right? A woman who is a former employee of Casa Mexico, which is the tequila company of Oscar De La Hoya and Mario Lopez, AKA AC Slater. She is alleging that De La Hoya harassed her and actually assaulted her on two separate occasions. The woman says, Casa Mexico ex executives, but she told them about it, but they did nothing to discipline Oscar De La Hoya. She says, per the complaint, that she feared retribution from the company if she spoke about the alleged abuse. So, you know, I don't know what the truth is. However, claims like this, especially in, you know, in the world we live in, they need to be taken completely serious. You know, the lady has some pretty heavy handed allegations. So we'll see what happens next. You know, maybe it goes to court. Maybe she's paid out of court. Maybe the charges drop. I mean, we don't know. I'm not a judge, jury and executioner. However, what I do know factually is De La Hoya has had various run ins from DUIs to um, his former announcer tattoo was suing him to another lady said that he used utensils. He had a situation in Mexico with a minor years ago that people seem to have forgotten about or don't know about. And, you know, these demons or these particular types of situations, they seem to haunt Oscar De La Hoya. So he's definitely going to have to get this looked at and taken care of. It's a bad look in general when, when a promoter keeps having similar types of lawsuits or just lawsuits in general and then i know for a fact this is not the first time he's had this type of lawsuit so it's like you know the common denominator is oscar de la hoya so it's it's like where are these coming from and that needs to be tackled and assessed because he has young fighters like ryan garcia who's part of his stable and it's so crazy that you have a black advisor in al Heyman. And he was demonized by old media, including Oscar De La Hoya, saying he's the worst. And, you know, he's the cancer of boxing. He's here to ruin boxing. You know, he's a great Gestapo, whatever they were saying about him. Right. And that being said, Al Heyman, how come he don't have these problems that we know about? Like, I'm not saying he's never been sued. He's, of course, been sued by top rank and Golden Boy. One of them was dismissed and the other was settled out of court. But. I haven't heard of personal attacks against Al Heyman saying he like obstructed my my exit and all this 
utensils and all this other stuff. And he was the person who was demonized by much of boxing, old media, boxing media, and also other promoters like Bob Arum said he was the cancer. We've heard Oscar say that they both sued him, etc. So I think this is something to look at. You know, why is it that Oscar has young fighters like Ryan Garcia and this is what they're saying about him? And people are leaving. And Senecia Estrada, she just recently posted that Golden Boy is unprofessional AF and things like that. And some of your fighters aren't happy. Canelo end up leaving after a long situation with them. So I don't know. I don't know what this means for Golden Boy. But at the end of the day, it's definitely something that they got to take care of. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know how I did. As always, hey, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kanichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hybrid Nations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.